Hi loves and welcome back to Lovely DIY Home Decor and More. Today I have a making coquito for Christmas video. So here's just a brief overview of all the staple ingredients that you will be needing to uh, make this coquito. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, coquito is a traditional authentic Puerto Rican beverage that is typically made around the holiday season for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So. Um, what you see here is the white rum that we'll be using. It's the Don Q brand of the white Puerto Rican rum. And then we have the Goya Crema de Coco, which is cream of coconut. And then we also want to have the sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk. And here we just have again a brief overview of all the ingredients that you will need. And I will leave a uh, description of each of the ingredients in the name and where you can get these ingredients from um, in the description down below. So now we're just going to go ahead and set ourselves up and get everything open, ready to prep. So now that we have everything prepped, opened, and ready to go, you just want to make sure you have um, your ground cinnamon as well as your vanilla extract. Again, I will leave all of the ingredients listed below in the description bar and where you can find them. So let's go ahead and start pouring the evaporated milk into the blender. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour the sweetened condensed milk into the blender as well. And just wanna make sure we scoop everything out. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour the crema de coco, the cream of coconut, into the blender as well. seems like it's a lot of liquor because it's 15 ounces but um, the taste will not be as strong as you think it is because you um, typically think of 15 ounces being a lot of liquor um, the longer it sits in the refrigerator um, yes the taste will become stronger but typically this is a drink that is served as a shot so um, it's something that's not going to hit you right away and make you feel drunk at all um, it's typically something that uh, sneaks up on you. Um, now we're going to go ahead and just um, pour our vanilla. Typically, I don't have a measurement for this. I just have, like, eyeball it. And what I usually do is just pour three droplets of the vanilla into the blender. The same goes for the ground cinnamon. I just um, kind of eyeball it. So I would typically say that this is about a tablespoon of ground cinnamon again you can um, add more if you would like or less um, depending on your taste um, what you prefer so now we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything up um, for about 20 minutes I would say just to make sure that everything is well blended and mixed and liquefied because the um, crema de coco is such a thick consistency you want to make sure that everything is just blended and the crema de coco is dissolved um, into the liquid mixture and here we have our final product um, of one of the bottles that I prepped um, ready to go now it as you can see the four cans that we use um, typically will fill up a bottle um, all the way it just depends on the size of the bottle here we have just you know a regular wine bottle um, and here we have the final product which is four bottles so now as you can see there's different sizes but um, what I used here was four cans of each ingredient um, to make all of these bottles so depending on how many bottles you want to make will depend on how many cans you will use um, so yeah this is the end product I hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave any comments suggestions um, in the comment bar and I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you will want to try it and make it for yourself and your family for the holidays um, have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Have a happy new year. And thank you again for tuning in to Lovely's DIY Home Decor and More.